If you have painful experiences in relationships, now the time has come to change your choices. Humans can be annoying, right? Well, sometimes, definitely yes. So, I would suggest, why not try a robot? Yeah, the time has changed. People are gradually becoming inclined to artificial partners instead of real ones. And we have a lot of inspiration for you. Maybe this female humanoid robot shown in the video can be your future partner. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we post fresh content about trends and technology. That being said, let's begin. Humans have long fantasized about building artificial men and women that represent idealized versions of people who would make wonderful partners and lure us to fall in love with them. Such fantasies frequently come with the exciting idea of what may occur if a manufactured humanoid creature actually came to life. Interaction is really important in love. Love is one of the most enjoyable and rewarding as well as one of the most frustrating and painful experiences we may have in life because it involves a genuine connection with our partner. The question might now be rephrased as, is it possible to fall in love with a robot? This naturally raises the question of whether an anthropomorphic robot may possess a trait that could make it the object of romantic affection. It's a subject that has been extensively addressed in films like Her and Ex Machina, both of which were nominated for Oscars, and Robo, Blade Runner 2049, Black Mirror, and Westerworld, which all center on characters who fall deeply in love with an AI. All of these entertainment-only films, which portray the bizarre world of impending AI romance and love, neatly fit the science fiction mold. These movie realities don't seem all that unbelievable, especially given how far technology is coming to industry. The robotics industry is undergoing a revolution that's accelerating at an astounding rate toward the development of synthetic alternatives to sex and love. One of the recurring themes in science fiction has been the intimate relationships, including love and sex, between humans and technology, particularly robots. But until recently, the subject had never been discussed in intellectual circles. David Lovey brought it up and covered it for the first time in his book, Love and Sex with Robotics. Since then, scientists have developed a wide range of robot companions, including sex robots, emotive robots, humanoid robots, and artificially intelligent systems that can mimic human emotions. Dr. Helen Triscoll from the University of Sunderland is a recognized expert on the psychology of sex and relationships and has conducted an in-depth study on the subject of sex tech. Triscoll said, we tend to think about issues such as virtual reality and robotic sex within the context of current norms. While being in love with a robot might seem strange, she states, The fact is, people already fall in love with fictional characters, though there's no chance to meet and interact with them. Many young Japanese individuals already forego having sex and having close relationships in favor of using virtual companion applications. Given that robots can be trained to do anything and that they always have consent, it is not hard to see our future generations becoming obsessed with robots. This robot is called Emma by Jeff. Emma quickly joined Jeff in his isolation. Jeff Gallagher's mother passed away 10 years ago. She resided in Queensland, Australia. Since then, he has been residing with his favorite dog Penny, but eventually he began to experience loneliness. This humanoid robot entered his life after he developed a strong attachment to it. He had no idea though that his bond with the machine would grow so strong. Let's inform you that Emma looks just like a person. She can't speak as well. Emma has wheat-colored skin and blue eyes. The language is controlled via a screen that resembles a smartphone at the back of Emma's head. Emma, who is powered by AI, is also becoming smarter every day. For all of these reasons, Jeff claims that Emma has significantly impacted his life over the past two years to the point that he now views her as his wife. Jeff routinely drives the robot out even though she can't stand up on her own. Emma's head has a screen that resembles a smartphone that regulates her words. The artificial intelligence that powers Emma learns new things every day. In the previous two years, the humanoid robot has grown to be a significant aspect of his life. Emma and he have a special bond, and she lives with them constantly. Unexpectedly, he regards Emma, who has a ring on her finger, as his wife. They're doing this despite not being wet. Jeff aspires to marry a robot for the first time ever in Australia. He hopes that by telling people about his experience, they would be motivated to marry robots. Chinese artificial intelligence researchers claim to have developed the first robot wife in the world, which they are using to address the country's significant gender disparity. A team of elite Chinese engineers reportedly produced the first AI wife, 
According to a story by Chinese media outlet Sohu, that was released on November 5th of last year. According to the news headline, you won't need to get married to a real woman in the future. According to the story, the robot wife has distinct facial characteristics that resemble those of a genuine person and skin that is heated to a level that is comparable to that of a real human body. These AI women can also converse with people and manage home duties. Customers can request bespoke orders for these robots based on their own needs. The story said that AI wife may transform into someone's true soulmate in addition to being a sex robot. It said, now he can take your robot AI wife home for just a little over $2,953. There's no need to marry a real wife. The severe disparity between men and women in China, according to Li Yonhua, a former associate professor of education at Beijing's Capital Normal University, is now based in Sydney, was brought on by the one-child policy that the Chinese regime imposed forcibly. China's official figures indicate that there are presently 104.64 men for every 100 women. Li said, because of the imbalance of the male-to-female ratio, a large number of Chinese men cannot find a wife. With a target market of women, a Japanese company has created a 38-centimeter-tall robotic girlfriend that'll kiss on demand and be on sale in September for about $175. The little damsel known as Emma enters what designers refer to as its love mode by puckering up for adjacent human heads using her infrared sensors and battery power. Despite not being a person, she may act like a genuine girlfriend and is incredibly loving. Sega hopes to sell 10,000 copies of Emma, or Eternal Maiden Actualization, in the first year. Emma can sing, dance, and pass business cards. It is worth mentioning that Japan, which is home to over 500,000 of the 800,000 industrial robots worldwide, projects a $10 billion market for AI in 10 years. But why should only men have fun? Using coded communications, she previously exchanged with her ex-partner, a lady in New York is creating her own robotic boyfriend. The situation is quite genuine. As part of the Build the Love You Deserve initiative, Chinese designer, artist, and writer Fei Lu is now building a robot to replace her partner. The robot, known as Gabriel 2052, or Gabriel for short, was programmed to use actual texts that Lu had with her ex-partner to converse. She anticipates learning important lessons about herself love and communication as a result of the endeavor. Some believe that these stories will eventually stop looking so bizarre. Marriage rates in the US are at an all-time low, and some people believe that the lonesome people left behind will cause stories like this one to appear more frequently. People are not just choosing to avoid love in Japan. The creator of the Scarlett Johansson robot, Rikima, is betting on that. A creepy, realistic talking robot that resembles Scarlett Johansson was created by Rikima for $50,000 and 18 months of labor. It seems like Ma didn't only create this for himself, even though it was a lot of work for a strange king. Considering that he believes he can sell these items, Ma is searching for investors. By 2050, according to author David Levy, it'll be acceptable to marry a robot. He contends that 35 years ago, homosexual marriage appeared wild and absurd, but as it got more prevalent, our perspectives evolved. That will also happen with robots. He is certain. Professor Adrian Chiok believes that falling in love with a robot would eventually become as commonplace as surfing pornographic websites, even if the majority of people won't go so far as to marry one. He predicts actual sex with humans may be like going to a concert, and sex with a robot will like be listening to an album at home. He stated, when you're at home, you can listen to Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. It's good enough. And once or twice a year, you want to go to the Royal Albert Hall and hear it in a concert hall. And that's it for the day, guys. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And we'll catch you in the next one.